In this video, we'll be going over the account page. The account page in the console provides a convenient way of current account information, as well as open orders, positions, and historical trades. Now we can access the account page at the bottom here by clicking on the account page tab. Now this is a default layout for the account page. You'll notice we have an accounts panel, which shows the current accounts connected to MotiveWave. We have the orders, which shows any open orders as well as any filled orders. We also have the positions panel, which shows open positions, closed positions, and a summary, as well as historical trades. Now, depending on which broker you have, these columns may differ. We can select the columns that we would like to see by clicking on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner of the panels. And from here, we can either enable or disable any of the columns that we would like to see. We can change the layout by adding the panels to our layout by clicking on the plus icon, which is the Add tab. And by clicking on it, you'll notice that the panels, orders, positions, trade history, and account are available from the right-click menu. You'll notice in the upper right-hand corner of the panels, we have the refresh icon. And you'll notice that the refresh icon is seen in all the panels in the upper right-hand corner. And this allows you to manually refresh the information coming from the broker. So if there are any changes, if you click on refresh, it will update the appropriate panel. Now let's take a look at the account panel. The account panel displays information about each available account in your workspace as listed here. Again, the columns displayed will differ depending on the broker that you chose for your workspace. The unrealized profit and loss column is common to all the brokers and displays the current unrealized profit or loss for all positions that belong to each account. Now we can right click on any of these accounts and set them as the default account. Right now you'll notice that they are not set to default. In this case we have the simulated account listed first and if you intend to use a simulated account versus a broker's demo account a good idea would be to right click and then set as a default account. And the reason why we want to do this is if we go back over and take a look at our trade panel, you want to make sure that by default the simulated account shows first. That way if you place any trades, it automatically goes to the simulated account versus any of the other accounts listed here which are live. Let's go back to the account page. And here again, we can select and deselect any columns that we want to see. So for instance, if I wanted to turn off margin used, it is now no longer viewable. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.